Today I was thinking I could show you how to create a custom GIMP brushes. Here in the toolbox we can see, uh, for example, when paintbrush is selected, the brush type. There are a few, few options here by default, but um, uh, later on you may want to create your own, own custom brushes. And that's not uh, too difficult actually. Uh, let's just make a simple one first. So uh, begin by creating a new image. I'll use a square one. Uh, remember to make it large enough because it's always easier to scale down than to scale upwards. Uh, next uh, we need to create a new layer. The name doesn't matter. Uh, and uh, then simply just uh, draw whatever you want to brush to contain. For example, um, I think I'm going to make a strange looking brush like this. like so. And um, next I am going to uh, remove the background, the white background here. Just delete the layer. Now we have uh, the drawn image on top of a uh, transparent background. Then I'm going to select this and move it to the center. We want to the brush to be be on the center because uh, that's that's where it's going to draw. And um, that's uh, about all you have to do. Next, just to save the image as a GIMP brush. So file save as. Uh, you will have to find the GIMP installation directory and uh, there you should see a subdirectory named brushes. That's where you'll want to save this. I'm going to name mine for example. Let's use underscores here. And then select the file type as a uh, GIMP brush dot GBR and uh, when you save it it'll pop up a new dialog here you can set the description elliptical line art brush and the spacing of the brush this means that uh, how often the brush is splatting this image when you draw I think this is percentage of the actual brush width. I'm going to use 35% um, then just save it. Okay it's saved. Uh, next I'm going to make a test image where I can test the new brush like so. And uh, I'm going to select paint brush and um, now I'm going to open the brush dialog window and uh, we can't see the new brush here yet but we can if we refresh this window like so and here we have the elliptical line art brush that I just did uh, now that I have this selected with my paintbrush, I can uh, use it like any any other default brush on the GIMP. Uh, I can uh, change the, change the scale. I can make a large strokes or make smaller strokes, like so. I can change the opacity. Make it darker. Uh, 
and the scale. Also, the brush dynamics work work as uh, as usual. I'm trying trying with my tablet now. See if that works. Yeah, you can see the change of opacity there. And that's that's in its simplicity how you make a new gimp brushes. Uh, you can also make animated gimp brushes, but uh, I think that's a subject for another video. All right, thanks for watching.